Hello everyone and thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host Dexter Raphaelis and today we'll be reviewing a Marvel Legends figure. I know it's been a while, I haven't reviewed one of these in a very long time. And it is the Netflix Punisher. Super excited to review this figure. I really love this TV series so I'm here to review it for you on this beautiful sunny day. Ah, this will be excellent. Hey, excuse me. No. Hey, wait, 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 wait! Well, I've been a fan of the Punisher for a while. I love the comics variant, especially from the Max publication series, but the live action portrayals are kind of a hit and miss for me. I'm not a fan of the Thomas Jane movie, I love Warzone, but my favorite portrayal by far is John Bernthal's Punisher in the Netflix series. He has a way with dark and haughty characters as shown by both the Punisher, as well as uh, my personal first look at the actor in The Walking Dead. When I saw the Marvel Legends release new figures from the Netflix shows, I had to get them. But was he worth the buy? Let's find out in the toy review of Marvel Legends Punisher from the Netflix TV series. Hello everybody and welcome to... Hey, excuse me, excuse me. This is my channel. This is my channel. But no, really, you should visit my friend Michael Luther. What's your YouTube channel? Uh, my YouTube channel is called Fish Kid Mouth. <laughs> awesome. Hello everyone and thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raculous. And Janelle behind the camera is like shaking her head like we're a bunch of amateurs. But we are! That's okay! Because we're here to give you pro toy reviews. What are we looking at today? Oh my gosh, that is... Yeah. My goodness. Alright, take it out. Take it out. This is the Rage Report. <laughs> you know what's funny? We, we, we shot this guy so many times and we just can't seem to get the center mass. All his legs and stuff blew off, but yeah. This is what's left of the Netflix Punisher. Boom, boom, bam! Oh, what's this? What is this? That's right. We have an actual figure to review, and we're gonna review it for you. All right. So sounds good. We're gonna see if it's worth your money. When my friend Rama came to visit, he picked up this figure and said, "Wow, this figure looks just like John Berenthal," and I would have to agree that his likeness is very close, especially for the $20 price point. Looking closer at the face, you can notice details like his painted on and faded 5 o'clock shadow, scars, well painted eyes, and light shading to give you that feel from the Netflix TV show. The Punisher body armor is also well painted and is very accurate to the show, as it looks like it's been spray painted on to give that gritty effect. The details on the pants are also well done as they are sculpted with a ruffled and baggy look. His overall paint job is semi-gloss black, and honestly I wish it was more of a matte black finish from the factory. I may just give him a quick matte spray just to perfect him, but overall his paint and detail is quite nice for a figure at this price point. Starting from the bottom, now we're here, and working our way up, there's an up and down on the ankle, a clicky double jointed knee, thigh swivel, ball jointed upper leg, swivel at the hip, ball jointed abdomen for ab crunches when you need that fresh workout, up and down at the wrist as well as a wrist swivel, single joint at the elbow, bicep swivel, peg and ball joint combination at the shoulder, up and down at the neck, and head swivel for a total of 23 points of articulation. To my understanding, anything above 16 points of articulation for a figure this size is very good. That being said, 23 points of articulation for a 6 inch figure and at a $20 price range, that's excellent. When it comes to accessories, he comes with an AR-15 and an 1811 pistol. While it's nice that he comes with these two guns, they are just okay in my opinion as they lack details like shading, wear and tear, and marks that stand out to make them quality accessories. They are painted one color, black for the AR-15 
and silver for the 1911. Mm, this could be better. So, if you want more variety, I'm happy to report that the little armory weapons seem to fit him, as well as the Mesco Punisher guns. Which the ones you see here are from the knockoff Mesco Punisher. Shit. So, upping his armory is quite easy if you have the money for it. So, I have to say, regardless that you don't get as many guns, I'm just glad that he comes with them in general. Now, personally, I think there's a few things that could be improved on, like an ankle bend for a better looking stance while holding his rifle, a bit more detail in the haircut fade along the back of his head for a smoother transition, and maybe a double joint at the elbow. But overall, with the points of articulation, level of detail in both paint and sculpt, as well as his current price tag of $20 US, he's definitely worth the buy. This whole video is coming to a head. Anyway, <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's go into the conclusion of this video of the Marvel Legends Netflix Punisher. Um, first, I guess I gotta ask my guest, honestly, what do you think of this figure? Have you been collecting at all? Well, let's start off with your history. How, what have you been collecting for a while now? I've been primarily collecting uh, Marvel Legends figures, so I have been going through, usually, um, like I started out with the Spider-Man figures, uh, and I've been collecting like more and more from that. Mm -hmm. The the most um, consistently I do get are the Spider Man figures. Right. So uh, like Ben Riley uh, black suit uh, twenty ninety nine alternate suit, which oh, is yeah. actually Ben Riley is my favorite Spider Man character. So yeah. cool, cool, cool. That's my, also one of my favorite action figures of the Clone Spider Man Ben Riley, the new one that came out in Marvel Legends. So you've been collecting Marvel Legends for quite some time. Mm. Now, when you're looking at those figures, what do you think of the Punisher one? I actually think he's a pretty nice build. Um, what's it? The, uh, the, the facial structure looks pretty close to the actual actor from John the Bernthal. Punisher series, right. uh, John Bernthal. And uh, just overall, his look is really good. There's a lot of good detail uh, in the clothing, uh, as well as the boots and... Well, I don't know too much about guns, but it looks like it has quite a bit of detail. For yeah, the that's that's pretty close to what the AR is with the M203, and he also has like a uh, 1911. Those are pretty pretty darn close to the real thing. The M4 looks the most realistic. The 1911 could use a little more detail. That's my opinion, though. Fair so. enough. Um, and I think paint application is pretty good overall even if it is slightly muffed yeah. up well he's uh, Yo, that's how he looks like he, in the he's series. an imperfect right. character to start mm -hmm. off with so right. I wouldn't really put a strike against him if there was anything okay so overall like articulation and everything you just it's really good right yeah okay so let's talk about negatives okay now you kind of have to nitpick that's okay because we want to tell our viewers out there what's really wrong with this figure I'll let you do that, considering I, I'm, a co I'm a collector, I'm okay. not a reviewer, so yeah, go for it. So from a guy like me, I've been collecting Figma, SH Figure Arts, and all the really high-end, almost $80 action figures. And most of the time I find those toys to be really, really good, especially for the amount of money that you're paying. So this price point is around the $20 price point. You can find this guy anywhere nowadays. Um, but I think the only problem I've always had with Marvel Legends is that it just seems like it could use a little more detailing. Now, whenever you, you guys go to Instagram and you see custom toy, toy people, they will put an extra application of paint on the Marvel Legends, and that's honestly what I think they should look like. And I know that requires a little more work, but you gotta have that shading. It looks really nice what a lot of these customizers would do with just even a quick shade. And I think that's what's really lacking here. Because these are so mass produced, you cannot add that extra shading or that extra detail in this paint. All right. So now that you know that, when you buy a Marvel Legend, especially for new people who come into the action figure collecting, you have to come to the realization that this is around 80% to 90% perfect. But when you start going to a price point of $40, you should, and let me tell you, all you new viewers and all the new toy collectors, you should expect perfection. That's a really high price point for an action figure. It should be darn near perfect. If it's not, it's a problem. So now with that in mind, I think for $20, he's excellent. I have easily 250 
Marvel Legends figures, and they're consistently getting better. I noticed the paint is getting better. Like if this was nineteen, like no, not even nineteen. Like uh, I'd say mid two thousand five, he would probably not have that good of shading in terms of his uh, his five o'clock shadow. The five yeah. o'clock shadow here is actually really nice. It looks pretty realistic. It also, does. the buzz cut here looks really good. It could be a little bit better with with a little more fade, but for what it is, it's not bad. Okay, so. Would I buy this figure? Well, obviously I did. I love this series. So if you love the Netflix Punisher, by all means, it's excellent. I say it is a buy. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> well, I just motioned to the camera. Yeah, I bought three. Oh, one you bought them, three? One, <laughs> one of them specifically for this, one as a collector's piece and then one as a display piece because right. I do actually want to get a couple of like glass cases, a couple tier uh, to display a lot of my figures. And I'm starting to get into Star Wars figures, the mm -hmm. Black Series. So I want to start displaying all of those. Excellent. Yeah. How's it going, guys? It's Fish. I hope you like this video. Uh, so be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you dislike the video, which some of you may, go ahead and hit dislike. Give your opinions. Whatever. We can take it. Well, it's on his channel, so he can take it. And come on over to my channel. I do gaming videos, and uh, I'm trying to get back into a series that I started a long time ago called GMVs, Gaming Music Videos. They're fun. So come on over, check out our Patreons, uh, support us if you want, and yeah, we'll see you in the next video. All right. See ya. Have a good one. Hey, you. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Where? Right here. Not there. Right here. You. And thanks for watching. So rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here. Right there. Right here. Yeah. Just for good measure. <laughs> Steel cage, motherfucker!